there were um, there was a poster on the, the two year uh, outcome of the early phase uh, microdystrophin gene uh, with the AAVRH74. Um, and uh, the four subjects um, have been followed up for two years. Uh, the initial safety profile was great with some elevation in liver enzymes. Um, there was that um, the initial response with the uh, decrease in the CK levels and now we have uh, them presenting the model outcome data based on the North Star um, tool uh, for monitoring um, the overall uh, motor function for these patients. Um, overall, there was an average of about a seven point improvement in the North Star um, for these four patients. And uh, it's very uh, promising that uh, you know, they, they have tolerated the therapy well uh, without AEs, adverse events, and uh, that the uh, functional endpoints seem promising. So uh, I think that really paves the way for the upcoming um, big double-blind placebo com control phase three trials uh, by, by two groups. At this trial, we actually uh, released a great deal of new information because there's been a great deal of question about the ability of microdystrophin, an attenuated form of the of the naturally occurring protein, um, to be effective. How effective it will be, how long it will last, and so forth. So, what we showed at this meeting was it, that um, after the gene was delivered that we had efficacy that, that continued out to two years. So um, that begins to answer a major question about the efficacy of, of a protein that had to accommodate, which really a gene that produced the protein that had to be edited so that it fit into the virus, adeno-associated virus. So that's what we showed and we had I think one of the startling figures to me was that we had uh, patients in that trial as a mean to improve in their in their hundred meter walk by uh, seventy six percent of normal. So that's an incredibly uh, big accomplishment.